That grouping's perfect. I used to hate these shots. I used to guess. Took it back. I bit of throw over my shoulder and that will just keep the loft of the club. It's one thing I struggle with. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, tonight I just wanted to kind of go through my short game. I have to give a little shout out to Dan, uh, Dan Greaves. I'll put his Instagram below. I started watching Dan's Instagram and I like quite simple things around the green. Also, we did a little bit, you might have seen my lesson with Chris in the summer. So kind of mix between Chris and Dan and we've kind of got to where we are. If you've watched the videos, I've played a bit of winter golf, you'll know that the up and downs and all that kind of game's been good. Coming out of Spain, obviously it's been a little bit harder, just getting used to the run out and stuff like that. But yeah, I pretty much have three shots to go on the green. I just wanted to show you them three shots, because look, I'm not a PGA pro, but there's nothing worse than watching a PGA pro on YouTube. No offense to any of you PGA pros, but honestly, when I stand there and chip, look, we need it simple. It just gets a bit confusing. So look, I'm not a pro. If you want to watch a pro, there's plenty of coaches out there with videos on YouTube. I'm not a pro, but if you're an amateur like me, this might just help you. And if this helps one person chip better, look, it helps you. First shot is literally a bump and run. So you might see me say release one or bump and run. I'm not going to talk through technique. I'm not a coach. I'm just going to show you what I do. So this pin here is basically, for me, it's back of my stance and all I do is a little literally a button stroke yeah belly button just follows the club and I always finish facing the target like that and that is literally all I've been doing all winter and all summer and it works so well so this is a 56 degree a lot of people ask in the comments what club I'm using 56 and literally just make sure you turn it out please go in that's the first one, and let's say I practice this so much, driving ranges, short game, back of my stance, feet really close together, and just literally put and stroke. And for me, I feel like I hit the ball with my belly button, so nothing really happens. I literally feel like I turn with my stomach, almost tense my stomach, and hit the ball with my stomach. I know pretty much I can miss a green and get close. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh, and there's five shots. All one puts, all knock them in. Pretty easy. So that's when the short ones. Now, don't always use one club. I used to always use my 56. Let's get back to the start and let's say we're going to this flag here. I'm not going to use my 56 because it means a bigger swing. It just means a bit harder. So let's go from 56. I like to use a pitching wedge. Always look where you're landing. You might see me in the videos, see I'm going to land it. So for me, I'm going to land it here. Downhill, releases out, get a pitching wedge, exactly the same swing. Feel like you hit it with your stomach. And we're just gonna turn into it. And again, out of five balls, I'd be pretty confident I could put that. Pretty confident I'd put that. That might even go in. Last one. Go in, go in. So again, five shots, all pretty much one putt. I might miss, I mean, if you had a million putts of this, this would probably be the hardest putt. All these are pretty much knock-ins. So 56 was the short one. I'll always use a 56 for this kind of distance because it nips up a little bit. Pitching wedge, if it's like a mid-roll, I'm gonna land it and roll out. And again, be confident even to pick up, say, a seven iron. Let's go to that flag there. This one just here. Seven iron's gonna roll out massively, so I know I can literally land it probably here get to get all the way to that flag. And literally, I spend so much time now. Get in. Oh, I spend so much time off camera and stuff like that, just practicing these at short game areas. So if I was gonna try and hit this shot with a 56, I'd be like up here. But you don't need to, just change your club. Even if you hit it a little bit of crap like that. Again, we've done it. There's five shots with a seven iron to a longer pin. We've got one tricky putt, maybe that one. It's only about three, four foot. 
rest of these pretty much knock them in. So that's what I said. For me, that's how I do my short game. That's my bump and runs. And I've got shots for short pins, mid pins, long pins. Just change your club. Feel like you hit it with your stomach. And that's a little bit of best advice I can give. Right, now let's move on to them ones you'll see me where I'm way off the green and they'll go up and land soft. Let's go. This is when you can't really bump and run. For me, I used to hate these shots. I used to guess. I didn't really know what I was doing with a face. Again, I watched a bunker video. If I had a bit of grass on my club and I took it back, I'd be able to throw it over my shoulder and that would just keep the loft of the club. It's one thing I struggle with. I don't know if you do, but if that's a, that's an imagination watch in my head at the minute. So we're going that pin, I'm out of position. I'm imaginary a little bit of grass on my, on my club and the feel will be I'll throw it over my shoulder. So that's the movement I've got. Landed, nipped up, we are three, four foot. Land soft and we are two, three foot again. That is a foot. That's another one with a foot. And there we go. Let's have a look where they've gone. And that grouping for me without really concentrating too much. I was literally just, I had one quick look. Obviously, if I was really concentrating, I'd be wet land it. But again, that grouping's perfect. For five really good chips, they were all pretty much within three, four foot. That's me out of position over there. And last but not least, your emergency shot. Your emergency shot is your flop shot. I'm not gonna lie, it's not an easy shot. It's just a massive swing. Take the club right back. Feel like you've thrown that grass over your shoulder and see if we can land it soft. Let's go. Like I said, this is an emergency shot. I wouldn't use it from here, but if you want to use it, open your stance. I imagine again that there's something on the face of the golf club and we're throwing it over our shoulder. Up in the air, landed soft. And let's like say this is literally Maybe if I was down there in the trees and I wanted to get it close, it's just literally over the face, throw over your shoulder, spin back next to the hole. Again, imagine there's something on your club, throw over your shoulder, and they're close. For me, I'd rather play the second shot we did before. I wouldn't really ever use this, but if you are down a hill, something like that, it's a really good emergency shot again shout out to Dan Greaves who goes into this a lot more detail but for us amateurs who watch on my channel there it is you bump and run stand very stiff tense your stomach play it like that the second one is imagine there's something on your club turn with it throw over your shoulders the feel and just get it nipped off the ground and you've got your emergency flop shot and that's it practice 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 hope you enjoyed that was it helpful let me know in the comments let's see I'm not a pro Hopefully, I explained that on a very amateur, simple level. And you've got three shots you can play around the green. See you very soon.